A taxi without a driver at the wheel. Yes, it's possible. Baidu's Apollo is a Chinese autonomous ride-sharing service launched in 2017 in suburban Beijing city district of Yichuan or Yitao. Now, these driverless cabs are making advances on road to commercial operation, and today. I'd like to give it a try. So now all I have to do is to enter the last four digits of my registered phone number, and then the door will automatically open. See, no one is inside except for us. So now let's fasten our seat belts and press the button. Wow, it's moving. On the road, the robot taxi made turns, changed lanes to overtake another car, and negotiated its way around the streets. And there's a button that can be used to call for help in case of an emergency. And now, Beijing has allowed many robot taxis, including Apollo Go, to offer such driverless vehicle services at Beijing Daxing International Airport. Wow! Here we arrived. Safely, it takes us about 10 minutes for five kilometers, just as the regular taxi. Baidu's Apollo Go established its first domestic R&D center in Beijing in 2017, and according to the staffs, over the past decade, the company has experienced rapid growth in user numbers and engagement. Baidu Apollo has accumulated over 100 million kilometers of high-level autonomous driving safety testing mileage, and holds over 5,000 uh, autonomous driving patent families, ranking first globally in the number of high-level autonomous driving patent families. And Apollo Go is not alone. The intelligent travel experience is a product of China's accelerated smart city reforms. In 2017, President Xi Jinping said China must promote the development of cities and turn them into smart cities adapted to the 21st century. Three years later, she urged major cities to use big data, cloud computing, and artificial intelligence technologies to modernize urban governance. Central to the reform is Beijing's E-Town, which launched an autonomous driving demonstration area in September 2020. The first ever integrated vehicle road cloud system worldwide. As of now, the zone has approved first batch of 30 autonomous driving licenses, allowing road tests on high-speed and fast sections of six test roads, covering 143 kilometers in the area. There are more than 200 companies in our demonstration zone, including companies working in radar, sensors, operating systems, algorithms, and other innovative technology industries. The cooperation has led to today's results. From sanitation to security patrol vehicles, buses to delivery cars, self-driving vehicles are becoming part of residents' everyday lives. And all of this is inseparable from China's determination to deepen reforms while achieving greater self-reliance and strength in science and technology. Over the past few years, China has made significant investments in technology, seen in the rising numbers of high-tech talents, contracts, and patents in the field. In 2023, there were 950,000 technology contracts signed, with the transaction volume reaching more than 6 trillion yuan. Marking a more than 28% increase year on year, the number of authorized invention patents reached more than 920,000, a rise of over 15% year on year. Well, China has done extremely well in innovation. Chinese growth in the future will be driven by technology and innovation. That's the only solution, and that's how China will really escape the middle-income trap. You know, and become a developed nation with a high level of per GDP per capita. Looking ahead, the Chinese government has pledged to allocate 370 billion yuan for science and technology in 2024, as part of its efforts to advance innovation. And Beijing's E-Town is ready to follow the task. We'll implement more application scenarios for vehicle road collaborative autonomous driving. Will also accelerate the research and development of core technologies, gather more talents for scientific research, and achieve more scientific research results. It's hoped the move will not only create more market potential that benefits Chinese tech companies such as Baidu's Apollo Go, but also drive the country's economic growth and better serve people's lives.